Hi guys, welcome to this newest video. Now, Iman Gatz says this particular animation is all over the internet, but the key thing is, I never found a single tutorial for Final Cut Pro. So I thought, why not just make it on your own? So in this video, we are going to learn how to make this kind of an animation. And in the last part of this video, I'm going to also share some free templates which you can use. Stay tuned. So we are in Final Cut Pro right now. Now, the first thing which you have to do is you have to get some cube PNGs for instance, for example, this one, this one, and this one. And I have made a couple of this in Photoshop, you know, totally manually right from scratch. You can make more if you want to. I'll link some of this down below as well as the animation packs later on as well. Some of them are free and if you want to try out the full version and support me, please feel free to do so. With that being said, let's jump straight into it. Now, for instance, let's say let's stretch some of this right here, just like this. So this is one. This will be the background, dragging this right here. And this is like a second option, which uh, some of you will like definitely but for me, I'll use a dotted one. So these are basically in two backgrounds. One is this one, another one is this one. First, we're going to animate the dotted lines. First, I'm going to reduce the scale just like this. Go to the panel right here, click on mask, and then draw mask. And then after that, I'm going to just create a rough mask just like this. Right, so invert this. And then after that, set a keyframe to the control points just like this. Right, go ahead, uh, let's say in this position and adjust the keyframes just like this. You know, so that you know you have that motion animation right around here, right? Right, so you will do this for the entire, entire length of the rectangle. Again, it's a bit of a cumbersome job if you are not acquainted with masking, but I have a special gift for you at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Now we have a rough animation right here. So what I'll do is since you know it's a rough animation and it's not yet you know evenly distributed to be honest, let's say. So I'm gonna just adjust the keyframes right here. So what I did was I nested the clip and I you know I just fast forwarded that one portion in a speed ramp in fashion. So this is how it looks and looks pretty good to be honest. Now what I have to do is I have to adjust this one rectangle just like this and make sure it looks, some people like this way, uh, looks decent, looks minimal. Some people like it totally overlapping. Some people like it this way. This is the animation which is done. Uh, it's pretty easy to do to be honest. But I think that uh, anyone who is masking this probably will have to save a lot of time. And what I will be doing is, in order to save you guys time, I will be adding this one file as an MP4 in the download link below as well. So what you can do is just simply use them in your own projects and you know save some time. I think that is a very good way to do. So this is one way, it looks pretty good to be honest. Now in order to make this a little bit better, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add cross dissolves to this. And I'm going to add some more animations to this. The moment it's finishing the outline animation, I'm going to add a cross dissolve to this. Right around here. Will look decent. I'm going to reduce the opacity of this a little bit as well. Let's say for example, just for the sake of a tutorial, I'm going to add a B-roll as well to this. Let me just find a quick B-roll for this. Sorry, I mean an A-roll for this. Let me just find a quick one. Just a random one to be honest, uh, nothing related to what the topic is. Right, so this goes up, this goes up, and I'm going to adjust this panel. Looks pretty decent. I'm going to reduce the opacity just a little bit more right around here. I think 16% is a good job. So I'm using one icon from flat icons. Just drag it like this. Right? Actually, my expressions look pretty bad. I'm going to just drag it a little bit on the right hand side. File is a 4K file if I'm not wrong. So that's why the playback is a little bit slow. I'm going to hide this out. Right, so for this, I'm going to add a little bit of a cross dissolve transition to the dollar icon just like this. Now, this is the next thing which is going to sell this well. And this I already have a video for which I call as entry presets. What you have to do is just simply nest this entire lot and reposition them, let's say on the left hand side or on the right hand side, just like this. And you know, add this auto animations, just like this. What I like is just bring in this from the bottom, done. 
now look at this isn't that looking good i'll just render this out real quick uh, render sketch right it's looking pretty cool to be honest now one thing you can sell this entire trick is if you want to use some backgrounds motion backgrounds and glitch backgrounds uh, you know grid backgrounds for this you can use them i have a couple of those right here so if i just use any one of them this is in verticals and you just click on the rotate button just like this you know move this a little bit on the center maybe around here let's say another one maybe on the right hand side for instance and it looks something like this another thing which i personally like and i think you can do this too is add in this handheld effect drag this right here you know distance reduce it to around 13 14 15 and this you can play with it and just say this there is a subtle movement subtle shake effect to this entire effect which looks good if you're someone who is a lot of fan of this kind of effects you will definitely like them so everything is like i mentioned one is this animating grid which you can manually make uh, with masking second one is this background overlay now this you can play around this you can even reduce the size of it just like you know there's some people like it this way so it will look something like this right even this looks good another one is the icon it can be icon it can be a text it can be anything else as well but for me it's just icon another thing you can do one more thing which you can do is you can play with the handle effect with this title as well this text title as well right so i'll nest this clip at the handle effect and then the entire thing will move in the main layer but inside the dollar sign will also move as well and if you're someone who is a lot more intricate into the details of editing this is one thing which can take the look and the feel of your videos to a next level so yeah this is how you do it i have a couple of those uh, cube you know rectangle right here you know stretch cube right here uh, another stretch to right here this can be for icons this can be for long text it's totally up to you for text which i'll recommend is do the exact same thing but what i'll recommend is use the type writer effect to the text which can take this one kind of edit to a next level so let's say i'm going to use this and to reduce the background uh, just maybe to around here let's say i can use the same grid it is the size of this right then after that i'm going to add some text so for this i'll recommend use the type writer text which is already pre-built inside of final cut pro just drag and drop this the font is very crucial for this for this i'll just prefer a simple font just like arial just for the sake of a tutorial but you guys can play with it so text um, actually let's go and subscribe right i'm going to increase the speed it's a little bit too slow to be honest and i didn't do the animation of the masking in for this but uh, again you guys can just do the exact same thing for the masking i'm going to just nest this out at the auto animation which i just showed you before like this again this auto animations are there in the description below if you want to check it out and it looks something like this it looks pretty cool if you are someone who is doing a lot of spinner videos doing a lot of human gatsu videos in final cut pro this one method is going to save you guys a lot of time to be honest like i mentioned the animations this masking animations i'm going to save them as a mp4 file and leave them in the download link as well there's a free pack and a paid pack if you're someone who is interested on this kind of assets for speeding up your editing then do make sure to support and that's done for this video if you guys like this kind of videos this kind of detailed tutorials along with the free packs do make sure to subscribe and i'm pixel sammy we'll be back with a new video soon peace out